Now today is uh, day two of a uh, boot camp series using Bookworm uh, uh, Pop 64. So uh, today it, we're going to concentrate on uh, configuring and setting up a uh, uh, tray, JWM tray here. And this uh, tray appearance and function is primarily uh, uh, un uh, guided by the uh, by the file here we'll go to the root and then uh, we'll make it smaller with a minus and then control H to bring out the uh, hidden files and then under the root uh, we have a, J a dot J uh, a JWMRC tray file <coughs> which we'll take a brief look and uh, we'll just drop it in here <coughs> and uh, let me just uh, go here and then we'll take a, a brief look. So this file <coughs> uh, has a very simple uh, layout and this is responsible for uh, here again and uh, you can see that the uh, tray auto hide is off. Uh, some, If you prefer that this uh, uh, hide uh, when the, there is no active uh, uh, window over it you cannot uh, turn that on for example uh, but uh, here vertical alignment now is on the bottom but I prefer to be up here <coughs> and the rest of it is like uh, here is a uh, uh, browser and terminal uh, uh, launcher which I, I I'm not I'm not gonna use because I have a separate uh, launcher that I'll uh, set up later which is Rofi so uh, and um, these uh, uh, this file uh, can be replaced by a previous uh, file that I use uh, in a fossa pub so we, what we can do is go into a uh, a fossa pup a save folder which I have here and so this is a fossa pup save folder and this is the save folder I'm using now is the, uh, the bookworm 64 this is the name so but uh, we want to open this just simply click and then root and then again control H uh, get a hidden file and then we're gonna take a look inside of this file so this is a my preference of a setup of tray that I can uh, I'm, although I'm using it in fossa pub exactly I can just simply copy it so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and copy this which is from Fossa Pup again. We'll copy it and then we'll go ahead and uh, uh, just go ahead and grab it all. Control A, just delete it. And then Control V to uh, paste it. And then we're going to save it. Now uh, I made significant changes to the tray. And let's see what it looks like. So what I can do is just go ahead and uh, start the terminal and then JWM uh, space restart and then uh, just do it uh, quickly in the background so now you can see there's been a significant change um, that there is no uh, the uh, menu icon here uh, and also there is a uh, three a space but I prefer six uh, these are workspaces and these are the uh, the programs that are running and the clock is on this side now and uh, uh, so those are the changes that uh, uh, it uh, made uh, so now I have a I have a, uh, a custom made uh, uh, PNG file that gives you the uh, idea of Puppy Linux and then uh, uh, the last a small icon here and that's <coughs> <coughs> obviously you won't have it so let me just go ahead and uh, click this and then a minus sign and then go into Linux and 32 bit again this is uh, I just happen to have these two uh, uh, custom uh, 
PNG files, which I find to my liking that uh, uh, splashes up the uh, uh, test bar a little bit more. So I can just go ahead and insert it to uh, copy PNG USR share PixMaps puppy. So again, uh, you won't have this option, but I'm just going to do it just to show you. And then we'll go ahead and JWM restart again. And then now you see these are uh, white. So you see that. <coughs> now next thing what I want to do is uh, show you how to uh, uh, change the theming of the uh, tray. So it's too white now. So what we can do is go ahead and uh, open up a rocks again. <coughs> <coughs> and then minus and then so this is a root level and then this time we're going to go into that uh, dot jwm folder and then we're going to take a look at the theme jwmrc theme file we'll just drag it into uh, here and then we'll take a quick a look quick look so so the uh, theme file uh, uh, changes the appearance of, in this case, window. Uh, so the window here is going to change. The and then depending on, so you can uh, go ahead and place the uh, font of your choice and size. <coughs> so similarly, uh, active window here and uh, inactive uh, you can change it separately so that's the window style and task style task list style has to do with the list here and tray style has to do with tray itself we're gonna change the color of tray style Pager style has to do with these these three uh, workspaces, and menu style has to do with the F12, the style and color and so on of here. I don't uh, I and I'm not using it uh, menu uh, significantly because I uh, prefer just Rofi, and it's much quicker Rofi application launcher, so. Similarly, what we're going to do is just copy the uh, <coughs> copy the uh, already themed JWRC uh, theme file from Fossa Pup and just copy over. So what we can do is just go ahead and uh, make this small and then open up this uh, save folder and then minus again, save. And we're going to open up the FOSA pup uh, save folder, go to the root, and go to the control H, control, uh, and then <coughs> JWM, and then theme. We're just going to drag it into Genie, and then simply I'm just going to control A to grab all of it, and then control C to copy, and then put it into the uh, uh, JWM uh, RC theme. Uh, of uh, uh, bookworm so we'll just go ahead and control a delete and then uh, paste and then we'll save and then we'll go ahead and open up the uh, terminal <coughs> window terminal here <coughs> and then jwm uh, space uh, dash restart and now you can see that it's dark now and uh, everything uh, is uh, significant better in my view. And on a, on a, uh, a root a folder there's uh, yet another uh, .jwmrc file and uh, let's uh, go ahead and take a brief look at this file. So we can uh, enlarge the uh, file and we can take a look and uh, this uh, JWMRC has many uh, 
uh, functions, but uh, it's primarily thought to be uh, used as a menu uh, configurator. So F12, it uh, uh, it should be uh, just uh, used primarily just as a menu uh, manual configurator. So you can uh, take a look at here, but it also has a uh, many uh, functions that very overlaps with the other JWM, particularly with the .jwmrc dash personnel file. Uh, so, so for example, but whatever you put here in JWMRC file. Uh, will be negated if you have identical same uh, command in JWMRC personnel files. So what I virtual desktops uh, here is uh, I have three that's the workspaces and its height is one. Let's see what happens if you make it two. So then I uh, would have a uh, uh, my normal six virtual desktops. So let me just go ahead and bring up the uh, uh, terminal again. Um, so LX terminal, and then we'll go ahead and uh, restart JWM restart, and then now you can uh, change. So let's see what happens if we uh, bring up the rocks again. But this time, we will go ahead and uh, edit the uh, per, uh, per, .personnel file. And we'll go into .jwm. Let's see, go to dot, uh, .jwmrc-personnel file. And we'll go ahead and edit this. And then we're going to go to the same uh, So. So here we're gonna uh, change the uh, number of virtual desktops to two here, because there is an overlapping of uh, command of the JWMRC and personnel. Now the personnel file, uh, whatever you pin in, uh, 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 is uh, it it takes over. So if you have a, a double entry, it is always the personnel file that uh, that wins. So we go ahead and. Uh, Open up that terminal again. And then re, uh, JWM restart. That's restart. Now you can see there are two, uh, six workspaces. So you should only use the JWM RC file uh, here to manually change the uh, man, uh, menu that you see when you enter uh, F12.